All right, we're out here another day working on the uh, four-stroke swap here, and uh, today what we're what I'm going to tackle is uh, hooking up uh, the throttle assembly from the uh, twist grip throttle that came with that two-stroke engine kit that I bought, and so here's the uh, throttle cable, the end of it, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize this existing bracket here. This is the throttle. Um, that comes with it. It's kind of a sticky kind of deal so you can set your RPM. Uh, but what I'm going to do is come in here, drill a hole, mount one of the barrel adjuster. Uh, I've got one. Uh, so drill a hole, tap it, and then the uh, cable will be attached to here. This is actually the governor, but you can see the way that the action works. You see there's the throttle valve or the butterfly valve and it actually goes pulls backwards to accelerate like that so I could come around here and have the cable pull like this but I think it's going to be easier to come in here off the governor arm and just pull like that um, so uh, that's at least how I'm going to do it this way I uh, might have to change it later on down the road but uh, uh, hopefully it should work out pretty good all right, and here's the parts I'm going to use. This is the old derailleur off the bike. And the parts I'm going to use are the little uh, barrel adjuster right here. And it's also got this little bolt here and a little retainer to uh, hold the cable down. So I'm going to utilize both these uh, in the existing parts that are uh, already on that motor. All right, here's the little uh, barrel adjuster I put on the uh, throttle arm. Uh, the original throttle arm that came on the engine just drilled and uh, uh, tapped it out uh, to fit that uh, barrel adjuster that was on that uh, old uh, derailleur. So I got that part done. Now I need to come in here, drill out one of these holes here, and uh, so I can put the little uh, clamp for the uh, cable. So I'll get going on that and then we'll bolt all this back on the engine. Okay, this is the little cable um, lockdown bolt, and as you can see, right there, it's got a flat side on it uh, to keep this thing from spinning because it's it's just a flat bottom. There's not a you know a slot for a screwdriver. It's not hex head, of course, but on two sides, see that side it's round, and on the opposite side it's also flat. So what I'm gonna do, I've drilled out the hole to basically the diameter of the two flat sides and now what I'm going to do is come in here I've got this little tool that I found it's actually uh, really for like a, a Dremel but I'm going to put it in my drill and enlarge the hole up to this round radius side uh, diameter and that way uh, it works like it should it, it you know I put the nut on there and uh, screw it all down and uh, this bolt uh, won't spin uh, inside the little hole there. So I'll get cracking on that and uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so here you can see I got the little bolt uh, into the, uh, this is really the governor arm, but all I really did is I got it, you know, like I said, it's got these little flat areas. I got it pretty close and then I just went and uh, pressed it in. I actually put it in the bench vise, took this little socket and just kind of pressed it into place. And so now it's ready to rock and roll. Just fit that over there like that. Put the nut on there and it's ready to go. So we'll put this all this stuff back on the engine. All right, here you can see I got everything bolted back on the engine. Here's the uh, throttle shaft. And I uh, got the little barrel adjuster in there. Got the little um, cable retainer on the uh, governor arm. So now we just gotta come in here with our uh, throttle cable. Got our throttle cable here, and we got to cut it uh, to the right size and uh, get that installed. Okay, here you can see I got my barrel adjuster in, I got my cable all routed through and connected up. And now what I need to do is uh, I need a return spring on here. And this is uh, the return spring. This spring actually went between the governor arm and the throttle arm right here. But now I'm going to use it as a return spring. Uh, for the throttle. 
and I need it, you know, I got it looped into one. There's two holes on the governor arm. I got it uh, hooked into one of those little holes. And so now I need another place for the other end of the hook. And there's really nothing over here. But so what I'm gonna do is utilize my uh, uh, little uh, spacer that I made. And I'm gonna come in here. Uh, let's see, what I did was I cut this little tab, drill the hole, and then cut the tab. And so I'm gonna weld this little tab to the spacer arm, and then my governor spring is gonna hook in there. So it'll be kind of something like that. My fingers are in the way, it's a real small part, but you get the idea. And uh, then I have a uh, positive, nice return spring uh, for the throttle so it doesn't run away on me. So I'll get uh, this little tab welded onto the spacer and uh, be about ready to go. All right, and here you can see the whole uh, throttle assembly. I got the little barrel adjuster right there. Got the uh, uh, cable clamp right there. And you can see I got my return spring and uh, the little tab uh, that I welded onto that uh, little gas tank spacer right there. So this is all ready to go. Uh, I just need to go back to the store and uh, pick up some longer, a longer piece of a uh, fuel hose. And then we can put the tank back on here and uh, probably even start this thing up. So I'll go do that. And uh, through the magic of editing, it'll seem like I was never gone. All right, I went to the store and I uh, got myself some lunch and now I'm back here working on the bike. Uh, I wasn't able to find the right size fuel line um, for this bike. I mean, this, this isn't quarter inch inside diameter. It's actually uh, between an eighth and three sixteenths. And all it, they had was quarter inch. Um, but I don't need a whole lot. But So what I did find was this fuel filter. And you can see there it actually has twin barbs uh, for different sizes. But that outer one... Uh, should be just fine and since I you know I'm hoping that this added length of this fuel filter uh, will make up the difference I need for uh, shifting that fuel tank over uh, this is a John Deere brand uh, you can get in there made in Israel so I don't know why that's I've seen a lot of fuel filters that are made in Israel and I'm not real sure why that is but anyway this was a lot more expensive than this is the most expensive fuel filter I've ever bought and for whatever reason my parents well my parents have some property in West Texas and I can tell you from going to the stores and the tractor stores John Deere stuff sells at a super premium uh, but this was I bought it because it's what I needed it's it's long enough to make up the space and uh, so yeah I got this at Lowe's and it was like 15 bucks so, and it's just a freaking fuel filter, but it's a $15 fuel filter, so, anyway, whatever, hopefully it works, uh, I think it should give me the distance that I need, and uh, we'll give it a shot, I'll open up the package and uh, we'll see how it works.